Scene two, take two, Mark. Action. And this is like a nice breath lint of fresh air. The author pens his description in such a poetic manner that's unique and memorable, like a lyric to your favorite song. Ah, take, for example, the way he describes the moment when his mother poses the question to her son. Son, or a knock. Oh, look at me, I'm trying to sound cool with you. <laughs> How much do you love your mother? Forever and ever and infinity. Oh, man, I mean, that's just forever and ever infinity. He's four years old. He has no concept of time! I, uh, uh, anyways, okay, sorry. So, assuming mother and son embrace after a line like that, the author explains what it must feel like at that very moment when their two hearts butt up against each other. The two were immersed in a fire that embraced them with a kind of love that kindled from kinfolk and cooked until heartburn. But he is smart enough to know that it does conjure up a feeling of belonging. You know, being a part of something whole. He knows that Ephraim is older, smarter, and faster. And thus he takes everything he says to be worth the weight of gold. I mean, he admires and wants to beat him. Oh, and we also learn that Adam has no other normal model to follow. He was born out of wedlock. His father was this U.S. soldier who was here one day and gone the next, so it explains why he's so close to Ephraim, even though Ephraim may not reciprocate. I mean, he's at that age, you know, where he wants to be around girls, and that can kind of pose a challenge when you have a four-year-old cramp in your style, putting a damper on that junior dog, what, what, what? Oh, yeah. And we also learned about him, of course, the main character and the mother of Balu. What we'll do is, um... Mm -hmm. What was in the shot? I did see the boom, like... Yeah, it's like... Uh, right. Right. I, I mean, as soon as I, as soon as I noticed it, I, it was panned over just a little bit, but... Can we... Can we switch, uh, switch the lines and just go tighter? Yeah. And that way I can cut in between. Uh, medium close-up tighter, or just a little bit tighter? Close-up tighter. Okay. 58. There you are. You're not quite fully in the frame. Action. Sorry, anyways, okay. Well, assuming 
mother and son embrace after a line like that. The author explains what it must feel like at that very moment when their two hearts butt up against each other. The two were immersed in the fire that. Okay. So, I mean, even, even if the hair is wet, maybe after the cold. How, how cold? I feel cold. This, my hair is wet and it's super cold. Mm -hmm. It's about oh, fit, like it's like 55. Oh, yes. Huh? It's about 55. 55, okay. Like, guess if I'm in this room. Okay. Oh, thank you. you. My mom. Yeah. I got you. Uh, lunch is here. If you want to get dressed into something a little more comfortable, you can. Okay. I need, like, the, like, I'm just weird. Like, I need, like, the whole, like, few days beforehand to, like, not have anything else like, to worry about because, like, during the day I memorize. 30 minutes rice for lunch? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Is that okay? Um, That's all of that. We're going to keep working and stuff in the I love you. Um, yeah. Now I gotta figure out how to get down to the patio. Uh, down this way. Is that a fireman's pool? Oh, keep talking. I know.